that's coming in. Now, Jairam Ramesh has tweeted, and I quote, India overtaking China as the world's most populous country has evoked much comment. But what ha hasn't is how the pioneering states in family planning, mostly southern, will end up losing seats in the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha. They need assurance that this won't happen. I've raised this issue many times. So this north-south pitch coming in from Jairam Ramesh. Palvi, how should we read this statement? I would say it's very, very interesting. So there are a couple of points over here. We already know, for example, there's a reorganization of the constituencies which have been taking place. And the Congress, like many opposition parties, have gone on record to oppose it, expressing their concern that it is, it is being done in a systematic manner, which is only going to help up suiting to the BJP and to a disadvantage of other opposition political parties. But now Sairam Ramesh gives a new twist to the new population figures which have been released, which, of course, puts India ahead of China. What he's here making a pitch is, first of all, for the southern states. He is a member of parliament from Karnataka. We also know elections are going on in Karnataka. And South often complains of what they call the imposition of North. So what he essentially is indicating is that post the changes, the uh, increase in population, will the reorganization be such that both in Lok Sabha as well as in Rajya Sabha, the representation of North will be increased at the cost of the South. Right. Thank you, Pallavi, for getting us that piece of breaking news. So Jairam Ramesh raising that North-South uh, point when it comes to this uh, you know, very evergreen issue when it comes to north, the North-South divide where the southern states say that they have focused on family planning but they have less Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha seats as compared to the northern states who have never focused on family planning. Uh, the southern states have made this pitch. Why should they constantly be punished for doing something that keeps population under control? And Jairam Ramesh raising that point once again as India has overtaken China when it comes to the population figures. But let's just focus to